Hi guys, this is Stefan again, uh, here to bring you another story. This is all uncut. I just uh, decide to put up a video every day from now on. Uh, and uh, here's a great story. Uh, you know, once there was a really rich man and uh, this rich man had a really ugly daughter. Okay, <laughs> he had a really ugly daughter. Um, don't ask me why, but he just has one. And uh, you know, the rich man is getting older and he decided that he was going to uh, try to marry off his daughter before, uh, you know, before he dies. So he was getting older and he, he announces to the entire town that he was, you know, there was the, his hometown that uh, he was going to marry off his daughter and he was looking for possible suitors or possible uh, husbands or husband, one, uh, for his daughter. And uh, you know, he, the daughter is famous for being ugly, so he knew that now a lot of people would be registering for that. So he decided that he was gonna also say that the person who marries his daughter will also inherit all his riches. And so he says, on this day, please come to my house, uh, and you know, we will find, uh, well, no, the right one for my daughter. And you know, the day came. And a lot of reporters came, and there were a lot of uh, men who came and to see what was, you know, you know, to see whether, uh, you know, to think about it and see whether they should, you know, marry this daughter because it was a lot, a lot of riches that they were talking about. This is a very wealthy man, and the wealthy man says, "Thank you all for coming. Please follow me." And he walks to the back of his mansion, which he had a really big house. He walks to the back of his mansion, and at the back of his mansion, there was this huge lake. Um, and uh, 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 not that huge, uh, just a uh, just lake, just a river. And he says, this is a crocodile invest infested river. The person who is going to marry my, my daughter is the one who is brave enough to swim across it right now. And the men looked and then everybody looked at the river and there was a lot, a lot of crocodiles and alligators inside. and. Uh, you know, for a long while, they were speaking among themselves, you know, just whispering here and there. And then suddenly, someone hears a big splash. And this man, this man just like speeds across the river like a, like a, like a shark. And he goes over to the other end. He swims across it. And, you know, he, he came out unharmed and he was you know, panting. And the, rot and the reporters just ran towards him, right? Uh, and, and one reporter asked him, Sir, congratulations. First of all, congratulations for your wonderful, uh, your wonderful victory in this swim. Uh, can I just ask you what, what, you know, what really propelled you or what really motivated you to, to just swim across this river? Like, why do you do it? Is it just for the riches or do you have uh, any, you know, do you have any other reason? The man looks at the reporter you know, and very angrily he says, I'm still looking for the person who's pushing, who pushed me down the river. Who is that? So this is a really interesting story. Um, uh, again, there are a lot of lessons to learn from this, but one of the lessons I like to share is, you know, um, a lot of us, we don't start swimming or start swimming across the river until, uh, you know, it's no, no longer an option, you know, for, because that guy, someone pushed him in. He had, he had no option but to swim as fast as he can to the other side of the river. So this is a really interesting story you can share with your friends, your family, and also, if you're a teacher, you can share with your class, or even a speaker, you can share your speaking engagements. So thank, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Do follow me or subscribe to my uh, video YouTube. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the, the speech bubble here to subscribe because I'm always, uh, you know, I always change my mind on where to put these things. But please do subscribe and uh, to be the first to hear uh, you know, all these stories. And, and you know, In fact, I might po post more than stories next time. So thank you very much, uh, subscribe now.